Hello everybody. So today I have a video for an issue I encountered where um, I powered up a vCenter server and this is the vCenter server Linux appliance and as you can see it's showing that the network interface uh, information is gone. The IP address that I had, had assigned previously is gone. I had seen that during um, the boot up it, it failed to load ETH0 um, Basically what happened was I'm doing a vCenter server disaster recovery test and I restored my vCenter. For some odd reason, um, it, it destroyed the, the networking information uh, during the first boot and I suspect that reason is because of the MAC address. Um, if we go look at the new virtual machine here. has this MAC address and the old one has this MAC address. So they're two separate MAC addresses. So one way to solve this would be, um, say for example, I, I knew that this machine was never going to come up again. You could take this MAC address and assign it to the new virtual machine right here. It'd have to be powered off to do this. Um, the other thing would be you can power or log into the virtual machine. And we can look at the following file. Okay, so as you can see, there are MAC addresses in this file here. So what we're actually going to do is I'm going to recall this command and open it with VI. And basically, I'm just going to hit D twice on each line. So that'll delete the entire line. Okay, so now the file is completely empty. I'm going to right click and exit, and we will reboot the vCenter. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this time ETH0 came up and assigned the IP address that I had given it. Okay, so the VM is back up again, and uh, <clears throat> as you can see, it's got the IP address that I had configured it with when I initially deployed this, or the original VM, I guess, before doing the disaster recovery. So uh, we can probably double check and just show that that file was repopulated. So now we see that the device information <clears throat> containing the new MAC address is shown. So just to double check, make sure that I can access this new vCenter. All right, so there you have it. That's how you can uh, basically fix uh, missing IP information on a vCenter server with the vCenter appliance. This video was helpful for you, and thanks for watching.